Thanks for tuning in to the Cape Fear Sports Report. We've got a big show for you this week. High school action, UNCW action, all kinds of news and notes. That's right. There's a coaching scenario that's up in the air over at UNCW, and you will break down our final four brackets. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group. <laughs> Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by Stevenson Automotive Group. We're here at Hell's Kitchen. I'm Jesse Jones. I'm Joe Messieri, and we've got some great action for you starting off the week. Why don't we head right out to the Game of the Week highlights? Hey, let's go, Cam. Thursday's meeting between Hoggard and New Hanover baseball teams had extra excitement surrounding the game, and the excitement carried on past the normal seven innings. Both teams got off to a hot start this season. Each was undefeated headed into the Ashley tournament last week and came into Thursday's game with only three combined losses. Hoggard scored a run in the top of the first, but New Hanover rallied for two runs in the bottom of the frame on Sam Foy's double. After getting on, Billy Vaughn steals second for Hoggard, but Stephen Vaughn, no relation, pitches himself out of a jam as he continued to keep the Vikes at bay. Jackson Watford settled down on the hill for Hoggard. He gets the punch out as he paints the outside corner for the backwards K. New Hanover and Jordan Betts would get to Watford for a run in the bottom of the third. After the single, Betts advanced to second and was driven in by Foy, who picked up his third RBI as New Hanover opened up a 3-1 lead. Down 4-1, Hoggard responded in the top of the fifth. Mitchell Callahan goes with the outside pitch, driving it all the way to the wall in left center. The double scores two, and Hoggard wasn't done there. After Callahan moved over to third, they scored the equalizer on the wild pitch, and it was anyone's ball game. New Hanover regrouped, taking a 4-3 lead in the bottom of the inning, but just as quickly, Hoggard tied the game back up. Kevin Kenyon does a little shopping at the gap for the Vikes. He drives in Michael Huffham, evening the score at four in the top of the fifth inning. Hoggard was looking to tack on some more runs, but center fielder Hunter Sutton isn't having it. He lays out and makes the spectacular catch. He must not be a fan of the gap. That grab certainly is worth another look in slow motion as the Wildcat Jr. does his best Ken Griffey Jr. impersonation with a fantastic catch. The game went into the seventh and final inning, tied at five, and Hoggard's Jeff Bouton gets a pitch to his liking. He unties the game with this colossal blast, which travels well over the left field wall. Bouton was ahead 3-0 in the count. He apparently had the green light and apparently was looking for a pitch right about there. The senior outfielder gives Hoggard the one-run lead, needing just three outs to grab the dramatic come-from-behind win. But the seesaw affair would continue. Down to their final out, New Hanover's Hunter Sutton singled and then stole second, keeping hope alive. Jack Faircloth would then deliver. He goes down and gets the low pitch, drilling it down the right field line. Sutton scores easily from second as Faircloth makes his way all the way to third base, just 90 feet away from winning the game for the Wildcats. But freshman Joe O'Donnell, who pitched very well in relief, showed some moxie, getting out of the jam, leaving the runner stranded on third, picking up the big strikeout. Extra innings seemed appropriate enough. Neither team could score in the eighth, but Hoggard put runners on first and second for Scott Coleman, who rips one to second. The hot smash is a little too hot. Billy Vaughn is on his horse. He scores without a throw, giving Hoggard the 7-6 lead. New Hanover battled back before, but with two outs and a runner on first, they look to get in scoring position. That strategy doesn't pay off, however. They get gunned down at second, a dramatic ending to a dramatic game. A great high school game, it really was. I mean, both teams battled. You know, we were kind of dead in the water around the fifth, and we rise up and tie it. They get it right back. We fought back again in the sixth, get the lead back in seventh. We think we got it with two outs and nothing going for them, and they get single and triple. So it was just really both teams battled. Heck of a high school game. The Vikings relied on the pitching of freshman Joe O'Donnell, who picked up the win in relief. This season I've been used to coming in. I've gotten out of a few jams before, so I figure I could do it again. I'm proud of how I pitched tonight. I like the pressure situation, but I can start too. 
Jeff Bouton thought he may have blasted the game winner in the top of the sixth, but was glad the Vikes could come out with the win. In 3-0, we've been talking about it at practice and everything. Uh, I mean, if you do have the green light, it has to be your pitch. And uh, just try to drive it. I mean, we had two outs in the top of the seventh. I mean, we thought we had them, and then they hit that double down the line. So that just basically, you know, ruins everything, just brings everything back to 0-0, zero, zero, basically. Stay tuned for more high school highlights later in the show. And as always, you can log on to CapeFearSportsReport.com for updates throughout the week. We've got plenty more highlights coming up on today's show. Plus, we'll break down our final four for the most outstanding plays. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by Stevenson Automotive Group.